there's an interesting parallel on this when it comes to the conflict between employee values and employer values. Mm -hmm. uh, have anybody of you heard about Hobby Lobby? Yes, I did. Well, what about Hobby Lobby? I Hobby Lobby something. Is, it's, a, it's a company that's basically, from the name, it's just, it, it provides hobby materials. Like supplies. It provides a supplies. lobby for hobbyists. It's essentially, yes. It's a lobby for hobby. Okay. You want you want glue? Go there. Mm -hmm. You want like you tried to be funny, it didn't work. It's all good. It's all good. It's okay. 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 okay. But the owners are hardcore Christians. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. And like we're talking, the idea is that they think that birth control is sinful. Okay. And they denied birth control as part of their healthcare benefits to their employees. They got sued. They got sued. I think it went to a Supreme Court and it ruled in Hobby Lobby's favor. The employer has the right to practice his business in accordance with his values. And reject. It was about, wasn't it about- Religious freedom. Yeah, it was about, uh, I think they rejected services to uh, someone who was gay, wasn't it? No, no, it was about birth control specifically. Then who was it that? That's the cake. Oh, the, the, the cake, cake. Yes, thing. the cake yeah, lady. The cake. They also went to court. I think. Yeah, that's a different case. That's a different case. This is about like, but it's almost similar outcome. Keep going. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Basically, like, no offense. We believe in a certain set of values, and birth control is against that. Whether you disagree or not, that's mm. another thing. But for them, their values for us, they say it's unfair that we are being forced to violate these values. Mm. If you feel like you're entitled to birth control, go to a company that provides you birth control. We will not. It got to, to the Supreme Court and it ruled to their favor. And it set a precedent. Uh, Ashraf, I, I think, any as cringe as, as, as Mr. Musk is. Very cringe. Okay, and very cringe. He still has that, and he has a Silicon Valley outlook on things. So whether people walk out on him or not, I think it's gonna be interesting to see. I don't think- It's in his favor if they walk out. He I would don't want think... a new culture. And yeah, of he course. Builds. Yeah, you, you want to build a new culture that follows your values. Well, that's the question. Does he want to really change the direction of the company that much from where it's going? And who have, as... First off, let's be honest. Twitter had no direction. Twitter was Not sinking for a long time. It's, That's, uh, I wouldn't say it's it was, sinking. It was, I was never saying it was, it, was, it, was, it was stagnant. Stagnant. No, I think they were pumping into money every mm. single fucking time. Mm. I do not think it was ever going to be about... Like, I thought Twitter was going to die really, really early on. Mm. How did it make it this far? I really have no clue. If someone come and buy it, <clears throat> that's a big W. Mm. And it hasn't really been monetized. Effectively this is why well, everybody so. agreed on the board. Yeah, we, yeah we'll sell. Mm. We'll sell today. They, they agreed to sell because he, he bought it at a premium as well. Yes. And also, he made it very toxic. No way. Touching the subject becomes annoying now. Every time you mention Twitter and you mention Elon Musk next to it. Mm. And if he stays on it without buying it, he's going to be a pain in the ass for a very long time. And how does that work? And it so just, yeah. I'm going to buy you guys. No, you didn't let me buy you, right? Mm. I sit on Twitter, Elon being Elon, mm. he's going to be talking shit yeah. about everything that's around him. Uh, yeah, he's going to keep criticizing. And exactly. Like, yo, this guy should have bought. Okay. Exactly. So now the problem's in your hands. Yep. Let me see what you're going to do. Exactly. And do you see what he came out with? He's mm. like, I never told people to buy Dogecoin. Didn't what? you? You just said Dogecoin. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, he said Dogecoin. Right, right? That, that, was, Doge. that was the tweet. Take that was the tweet. moon or something like that. Yeah, wasn't he the guy to the moon, to the moon the yeah, whole time? He's facing a lawsuit. Uh, basically, he's be being accused of being part of a pump and dump scheme on Dogecoin. I think that's a stretch. Yeah. It's a stretch for yeah, someone who's a billionaire. A yeah, exactly. Like he's not going to give yeah, a shit. Yeah, essentially, like they, they are He saying, was trolling. That's the problem. That's the problem when you're you fucking can't, billionaire. You can't, you can't troll. troll. You can't troll when it comes to stocks. Wasn't no. he, didn't he like he said, I'm going to take Tesla public when the stocks reach 420.69 or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's and what I'm like, saying. He's a and troll. And like the SEC called him like, yo. Would you, you relax? <laughs> relax, my guy. <laughs> that's not how it works. Yeah.